what electric car should you buy or at least consider buying if you can't necessarily afford uh, something as expensive as Tesla or Porsche or uh, a Jaguar uh, and, and, or maybe just don't want to. Maybe you have other priorities, maybe college funds for your kids or maybe you're saving for a house or you just don't care to spend $100,000 on a car ever. Um, and I, I'll tell you why I'm making this video also. This is something that I'm also doing for myself because I am going to buy a car that is not a Tesla. Um, this time around, I have two Teslas right now. For those of you who don't, who are maybe haven't been watching my videos long enough, uh, one of them will still stay as a Tesla, but the second one, uh, I'm gonna go with something on a smaller budget. And I'll tell you why, this is connected to this YouTube channel and its future. So let me, let me get going so uh, I'll, I'll, I, can, I can tell you all about it coming up next. All right, so let's talk about it. And before that, let me just mention that this video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a discount code in the description of this video so you guys can save a few bucks if you go into shop there. Um, if uh, this is your first time uh, on, on this channel, welcome. Uh, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything moving forward. Uh, and uh, I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on in the universe of electric cars. You can also support me at Patreon if you'd like. All right. Um, First of all, let me tell you why I'm considering a um, um, car within a smaller budget, probably within $30,000. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about an electric car. Uh, as you know, I have two Tesla Model S cars right now. The leases are expiring closer to the end of the year. And even though I'm still very fortunate where I can probably get you know, two more, um, but I'm not going to, and I'll tell you why. So the first one will still stay as a Tesla. I will, I will renew that lease or I will just get a new one once the refresh comes in, whatever that is. I'm hoping it's soon. Um, but my second one, I'm going to buy on a budget. And, and the reason for that is kind of this channel. As you know, um, I, I love doing this channel. This is kind of my life. I spend 40 to 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. And that's on top of my full-time day job that I have. Now, um, I, I, I really feel like I'm spreading myself thin, but I have so much more to give and, 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 and increase the quality of the videos and so forth and maybe travel a little more, do more on location videos. But for that, at some point, I'm going to have to quit my job uh, and concentrate on this full time. And so for that, I, I, obviously my channel is you know, still very, fairly young, so there's only so much money I can make on this. And, and in order to make that work in the next year or so, I've decided I'm going to leave uh, the Silicon Valley where I've lived for 25 years, and I'm going to move a couple of hours away to Sacramento. Uh, and that's going, I, I own a small house there, so that's going to cut my uh, living costs literally by half, and that way I'll be able to, um, you know, uh, to afford uh, my, my living there um, on whatever I'm going to start uh, uh, as far as my income when I go full time with, with this channel. So, um, so that's the sacrifice I would like to make for this channel for you guys as an audience and just, just do what I really, really love for, for myself and for this community. Um, now, I've already saved my money to release uh, uh, my Tesla Model S, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. But my second car, I, I, it would be silly for me to, uh, to get yet a second Tesla because I need that money to you know, live off of maybe for a little bit as I'm ramping up uh, this channel once I go full time. Um, and that's why I'm going to shop on a budget. Also, I have to say that you know, I'm kind of almost glad to be uh, out of this bubble of Silicon Valley, right? Because I've been, you know, all or nothing guy for a while, you know, all electric or you're not part of this. Uh, maybe I haven't been exactly that way, but it's been kind of my assumption that if you really care about this, you need to right away get an all electric car. And I've been kind of rolling it back as I think I, I, I started talking to more and more people outside of Tesla community and more of a, you know, real world, I would say community, people who can't just drop a hundred grand on a car, um, and I started to realize that, you know, plug-in hybrids um, is really, um, I call it a gateway drug, uh, probably not a good, you know, I probably should find another uh, analogy. I don't want to compare all electric cars with heroin, obviously, uh, but it is something that I think uh, that people need to experience before they're comfortable uh, with all electric cars. And while the all electric cars catch up to what people really need them to be, especially with range and charging and so forth. Um, because it gets you into an electric car essentially, but you have that backup in that gas 
engine that you have that you know you, it obviously it extends your mileage and inability to refuel your car and, and do it much faster than you would do if you would be charging it and I think that's what most people are comfortable with and I think that's what needs to happen the next generation of cars for the next few years may just be uh, plug-in hybrids to get everybody kind of slowly moved uh, while the technology is catching up with with our needs um, so I think that's what I'm going to consider. Now, I know that uh, there's a Nissan Leaf and there is a, a Kia Niro EV and a Hyundai Kona EV that are all coming up. They're all within reason under um, under 40,000, obviously, and after rebates, even closer to 30. Um, but of course, the problem is the uh, the charging, the, the long distance uh, fast charging. Um, it's, it's obviously the infrastructure is still not there. Now also, I will be traveling from Sacramento to Silicon Valley probably once a week because I still have my family and friends here. Um, and I mentioned it before, and I know some of you guys maybe call me a whiner about it, and, um, but you know, it, it's a two hour drive um, unless you're driving in a Tesla. And yes, I can supercharge, which is fast charging, but I would still be losing at least 45 minutes because don't forget, once I get to the destination here, like my parents don't have a charger, so I'm gonna have to go and supercharge again to go back. So my two plus two, four hour drive back and forth uh, will probably end up uh, not four hours, but probably five or six hours. And you know, those two hours really matter. That That's an extra meeting I can have or extra video I can make, um, you know, a time that I could spend with my family, my nieces or whatever, my friends. Um, and it's just not realistic for me, especially if I'm gonna be doing it on a regular basis. Um, so I need a car that will get me from, you know, Sacramento to here and back, you know, without uh, all that extra charging. And it, it can only be done right now in a, a, a plug-in hybrid car where I will be using gas. But, you know, I've already made a video about that where, you know, sometimes I have to use gas um, to, you know, benefit more, you know, this channel uh, or just not to go crazy because uh, I have two jobs and the family um, to, to spend time with and sitting at a supercharger for an extra couple of hours a week is just not realistic for me. Um, so this is why I'm considering plug-in hybrids. Um, they're also more, of course, within, within my budget, which would be about $30,000 after incentives. Um, you know, I was cons uh, the, the, the first car that I'm considering is Chevy Volt. And I, you know, I recently made a video, the news video where Chevy Volt was in the news. And a lot of you uh, in a comment section um, uh, were, were who, a lot of you who drive a, a Volt uh, were, were, told me you guys were very, very, very happy with this car, with the tech, with the reliability and so forth. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and consider that for sure, a Chevy Volt. Um, uh, there's of course a uh, Kia Niro plug-in hybrid. Um, so I'm actually open to that also within my budget. Um, and there are a few others. So, um, you know, by the way, feel free to suggest in the comment section uh, which, which one you think I should consider. Again, I wanna make sure that I'm on budget um, to be able to afford my you know, poor YouTuber lifestyle. Uh, you know, once I once I <laughs> quit my job, I don't know when it's going to be. Um, so yeah, and and that's after incentives, obviously. And I'm and I'm going to lease that car as well. Um, yeah, and you know, I know there will be some comments saying like, Alex, you're how how could you have a you know all you know electric car YouTube channel and still even think about using gas? And you know, to be honest, with this is a very kind of a unfair, I think, accusation because even if I don't, you know, and I don't use gas right now, obviously only when I rent a car, but you know, the, the, uh, the uh, delivery trucks that deliver my Amazon packages. Um, and you know, sometimes I do have to have an Uber if I'm in another city, like I was just traveling in Europe and so forth. Um, and uh, a, a lot of other, you know, trucks that deliver groceries to the, to the grocery store where I buy them. You know, I, I, all of us, uh, are, are, are using fossil fuels directly and directly. So, you know, if, if uh, in order for me to be able to contribute more to this community by having more videos and maybe better quality videos for you guys, um, if I have to use a um, you know, few liters of, of gas every, every, every month, then then be it. I think it's very fair exchange. Um, you know, just like people who accuse Tesla saying like, you make these green cars, but you know, all this electricity that, that, uh, that your factory is powered up is, is, is produced by coal and all these trucks that are bringing parts to the factory are all, you know, diesel powered trucks. So, and you know, 
you can't go 100% green right now. You, I, I'm, I can only go as green as I can within the reason while contributing back to the community. And I think uh, getting a plug-in hybrid is still within uh, that mentality uh, that I have about that. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm still gonna read your comments. I, I hope you guys are open to it. I hope you understand what I'm doing here uh, with, with this move. And I'm looking forward to your recommendations of you know all electric or uh, plug-in hybrids uh, that maybe you've experienced with and maybe I haven't thought of uh, just yet. So, all right guys, well, I will uh, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.